This is a computer networks question based upon Hamming code. We have been given a 12-bit Hamming code word that consists of 8 data bits and 4 check bits. The sequence is given over here as it was there in the original question. But as you can see, if you count these bits, then it results into a 13-bit code word just because there was a printing mistake in the question paper that this d4 is printed twice over here so this was a printing mistake we'll be ignoring that and then this becomes a 12-bit code word that will be considered for calculation so now the corresponding data bits and the check bits have been given to us in these tables and we need to determine what would the values of these unknown bits x and y x corresponds to data bit d5 and y corresponds to the check bit c8 so how we'll be proceeding with this first we need to note down that which check bit takes care of which position and how do we do that we make this particular table in which we have the entries for c1 to c8 from right to left and we note down all the positions that are there 0 till 12 and then for whichever positions a particular check bit is set for that positions it will be taken care of what will it basically do it will ensure that there is an even parity in those positions so as we can see c1 takes the value 1 at odd numbers which means 1 3 5 7 9 and 11 so these positions in the code word will be handled by the check bit c1 it will ensure that there is an even parity in this positions similarly we see that c2 is 1 at these positions c4 at all 4 5 6 7 12 positions and c8 at these remaining positions so every position is handled by at least one check bit some can be handled by multiple check bits as you can see there is a 7 in all c1 c4 as well as c2 similarly 11 is there in c1 c2 as well as c8 so every position is handled by at least one check bit and that is how we can detect errors in our message so now how we'll be proceeding is we have been given this particular sequence over here and its corresponding bits can be found out from this table so what we'll do is we will create this particular representation in which we have first the given sequence and in the next line in the green we have their corresponding bits for data bits we will use this first table and for check bits we will be using this second table so we write down their corresponding bits and we number them from right to left from 1 to 12 and now what we'll be doing is we have to find out the values of x and y where is our x over here it is at the position 9 so we will see that which check bit takes care of the ninth position so as we can see over here 9 is present only in c1 and c8 similarly for y it is at the position 8 now this 8 is present only in c8 and in none other so we are sure that if we ensure even parity because of the check bits c1 and c8 then we will be able to identify the values of x and y both so let's do that according to c1 the bits under consideration the positions it checks are all the odd positions 1 3 5 7 and 11 so we will note down the bits on these positions at position 1 we have the bit 0 then at 3 we have the bit 1 at 5 we have 0 at 7 we have 0 at 9 there is x and at 11 there is a 1 so for these we will be doing the modulo 2 addition which means it will be the result would be made modulo by 2 so here as we can see the result we are getting is x plus 2 and when we do the modulo 2 addition this will simply convert to x so now because this position has to satisfy even parity because of this c1 what will say that the result should always be zero then only even parity will be satisfied and the result we are getting is x which means the value of 
x itself has to be zero then only c1 bit will be able to ensure even parity in this position so now we have got the value of x and in the same way we'll be dealing with y as well so for y which means the position 8 it was present in only c8 so now we'll be doing the same thing for c8 which are the positions that it is taking care of from 8 onwards till 12 which means all of these in the box so for these bits we'll be doing the modulo 2 addition that is 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus x plus y and what do we get x plus y plus 2 on doing modulo 2 it will become simply x plus y but we found out the value of x to be 0 so this converts simply to y and again we have to ensure even parity because of c8 over here the result we are getting is y so for this to satisfy the even parity again y has to be 0 so going with this method we get both x and y to have the value as 0 then only the thing will be satisfied so what is the option that we are getting the first one option a that x is 0 and y is also 0 that will be the answer